So Prince Andrew using Kate Middleton. Are we really surprised? Kate is seen as a very popular royal now for what stats are stating and a new written note from Kate. Hey guys, it's Marad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Heavily, heavily exhausted from flights yet again. One thing about them flights, you might be catching flights over feelings, guys, but them flights that you catch are exhausting. So I'm very tired, hence the lack thereof in the past 48 hours of letting you guys know what is going on. But Business Insider have basically exposed Prince Andrew, guys, to stage a comeback by using Kate Middleton's, you know, scandal. Are we really surprised? The royals will always turn on each other. Andrew, who also used the title of Duke of York, resigned from duties in 2019. Public appearances have been spare since such as, you know, the wedding of Beatrice, an, exa an example, and, you know, Easter church service. But Andrew's most recent appearance at this recent church service with his ex-wife and a number of senior royals, including the King of Queen, Anne, and the Duke of Duchess of Edinburgh. What Prince William was absent, as was Kate, who was announced that she has, you know, cancer. She said she was disheartened to see photos of Andrew happily leading the family march, a royal commentator said. Photos taken before the service show Andrew and Sarah walking in front of a group. The service was notably lacking in senior royals. It felt like a relaunch of the disgraced spare or a miscalculated attempt to assure the public that the royal is doing just fine. Um, so this particular royal particular um, commentator is going in on this Business Insider um, argument. The family has much more to lose than gain by continuing to appear with Andrew, a PR expert has said. He may be personally looking for opportunity to rebuild his public profile, but I doubt it's an effort that is being done in coordination with the royal family. Interesting, which basically, you know, really reflects the fact that he's going against um, Kate Middleton, using her to his advantage to say, look, this is what's going on with her. She's been slimmed down. Harry has left as well with Meghan. Let me use it to try and come back and everybody will miss me with the beacon of life that I absolutely was. But he never was the beacon of life. And we all saw that in Scoop yet again in that interview, the Epstein saga with the files. This man is no short when it comes to any form of scandals. He is using this to, you know, come against, am I surprised? No, the royal family will turn against each other. Is it working? Absolutely not. Andrew's career is done, it's dead. It can never be revived or resuscitated. He can attempt to, but it's not. An exclusive article from The Mirror was discussing how King Charles is just too stubborn to let his brother go, which is a shame to see that, you know, him keeping Andrew around is also another reflection for why um, King Charles' royal throne isn't working the way he wants it to. He's not as popular. Why are you having a brother around that's tampering your image when it's been, you know, confirmed that he is this pedophile, settling a large 12 million case of our taxpayers' money? A Poll has been released showing that Kate Middleton, you know, is a the most popular member of the royal family now. I mean, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised. There's not anybody else left. That's probably why she's the most popular. And because of a recent cancer diagnosis, that definitely entices a lot of sympathy for her. But who else is there? Camilla the Rat, King Charles, definitely not William. There's nobody else. And nobody's voting for Edward or Andrew. So she obviously is going to be the most popular member because Elizabeth has gone, Diana's gone, Meghan's gone, Harry's gone. Don't expect Meghan to ever be on that list because the UK absolutely hates her. And for what reason, I don't know. But she breaks tradition, Kate Middleton, with a thank you note um, for, you know, their, her fans um, for their kind wishes amid a health battle. Um, she has put out a note over the past week. Thank you for your kind well wishes to Her Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. Your thoughtful gesture is very much appreciated. So this is a note via Kensington Palace that, you know, she has put out. Again, very odd. Um, very, very odd to me. And like, I just don't understand. It seems like, you know, in third person. Again, nothing from her. It's a note. Anybody could have written it. I'm not really buying it considering they faked a picture of the family together. So if they faked that, then her speaking out in this note seems to me quite mystic, um, odd. Some, some, someone of the past. That's just, you know, what, what it gives to me. Um, and I'm just very bemused by it, to be honest with you. I don't understand. But speaking of thank you notes, Daily Mail is reporting that Rose Hanbury, also the Marchioness of Chamley, sends handwritten thank you notes to fans who send her a birthday card and say she's grateful for 40 happy years of life so far. Now, why is this information coming out at the same time as Kate's thank you notes? Why the hell are they pairing this at the same time? The UK press know exactly what they're doing and they're doing it on purpose and it's ridiculous. But for the fact that they're reporting that both of these individuals are putting out thank you notes that a couple of weeks ago, Rose was Kate's neighbour, I see what you guys are doing. It's an absolute mess. It's very, 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 very snotty behavior from the UK press 
they want to dangle it in our faces, then blame us for when we react. Make of this what you will. Do subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Apologies for my face. <laughs> I feel like I look so tired and exhausted. Apologies for no Tulum. There's no cat anymore around me. Also, apologies for the echoey sounds that you might be hearing in my recent videos. I My camera, whilst I'm traveling, has faced some issues. So I'm using my phone. And so evidently, the microphone issues might be there. Apologize, apologies for that as well. And free Palestine all day, every day with my chest. Subscribe or comment down below and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.